right, we got a special edition of Talking Preps. We got my man Devon Dotson, uh, former McDonald's All American in Providence Day, All American in Kansas. You got a lot of All Americans and awards after your name. One of the best guards, if not the best guard I've ever seen out of Charlotte, uh, Devon yeah, Dotson. Shady. Declaring for the NBA draft. Again, what's going to be different about this time than last time? Uh, well, you know, as we know, what we're going through right now, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, what's going to be different. But uh, as I'm here now, uh, take it day by day, mm-hmm. and uh, just, just, just looking and seeing. Um, I feel like there's going to be some interviews, team interviews, yeah. um, during the process, and um, so I got to get an agent and um, decide what's next. So you're not going back to school this time. You're going to definitely sign with the agent and just stay in the draft. Um. Yeah. As of yep. As of right now, yes, sir. Do you think it might help you though? Because teams can't like have people come on, you know, come to the gym and, and work them out. They can't look at film, that, that type of thing. Because you're a known commodity, you think that kind of pushes you up the draft a little bit? Oh, uh, that's what people are are you know kind of hinting towards that mm-hmm. you know it can't help you out. But um, you know. Um, yeah, you just never know. Um, you know, you have a good workout, shoot it well, and um, that can move you up. But, um, I mean, they're saying that you had, you know, a well enough season to, you know, build off that. But, I mean, so uh, kind of just waiting and seeing. I want to come back to the draft a little bit, but I know you guys were it won 16 straight games in Kansas, looking like the number one overall seed. And then you're sitting at Freddy's Restaurant, and what happens? Right. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, we come back from the Big 12. We just hear news that, you know, the Big 12 is canceled. The tournament is canceled. Yeah. And uh, we come back to the, like I said, the dorm. You know, me and Jalen get a little hungry. Mm-hmm. We go get some Freddies. And uh, we just look on Twitter and we just see it, you know, the, the season canceled. And, um, you know, once you saw that, it was just, you know, like many how'd that, emotions. How did that hit you? Because I know you went back to get that ring this year. Just many emotions, like. Just like a, like, like just a, I, I, it's, it's hard to describe. It's hard to put in words, but, yeah. um, you know, as you got a time to reflect and, and um, you know, think about, you know, the bigger picture and, and um, you know, it's bigger than basketball um, mm-hmm. at that point. So, um, kind of something you got to accept. You moved to Charlotte in 2011. And did you ever think back then, you know, you wore the D-Rolls, ankle braces and all that. You were playing like D-Rolls. Did you ever think then you'd be in a position to play in the same league as Derrick Rose? Uh, I mean, I always, in back of my mind, I envisioned it. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I always just kind of, you know, imagine, picture myself, like, yeah, I'm going to be there one day. But, yeah. um, you know, now you're actually there. And it's kind of surreal. Just, I mean, I'm not there yet, but, I mean, just, just seeing that the opportunity, was what could be in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um it's a, it's a, you know, it's amazing. But um, yeah, just keep working at it every day, and um, you know, just trying to get, get to the top. One thing people may not know, one of the biggest secrets to your game is your older brother Dalen, who you played with growing up. I mean, talk about how he shaped your game, how he made you better, how he made you into the player you are now. Uh, he, he helped a lot, um, tremendously. Just playing against him every day mm-hmm. in the driveway, um, just trying to, you know, one up him. You know, him being my older brother, he was three years older than me. But yeah. but I was always just try to, you know, get on his level. And yeah. uh, just him just beating me down and, and always beating me. You know, that, that just pushed me to, to try to improve my game and, and try to, you know, get on his level. So it was kind of – kind of helped me out in that aspect, just just always trying to level him. And um, I feel like that's – you know, I wouldn't be where I am today without, you know, him. Yeah, and talk about Derrick Rose's influence in your, in your game. When was the first time you saw him play, and what, why did you decide to try to play like him? Yeah, the very first time I saw him play, uh, my dad took me to his high school game. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, that, that game, I saw his athleticism and, um, you, know, just a, you know, just a smart player. Um, and ever since then, I kind of tried to, you know, kind of model my game here and there from – from him and um, this person I looked up to in the basketball world. Every step you've been at, everybody always talks about his size. You know, he, maybe he's not big enough. Maybe he doesn't shoot it well enough. But you always overcome that. I mean, what is it about you, that inside drive, you take all that criticism and just make it positive? Uh, you know, you, you can't look at, um, you know, what's what they're saying. Um, it's only, you know, the work that you put in, the work you know. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
you know, there's going to be critics. I mean, that's their, that's their job. Mm-hmm. But um, as long as, you know, you're confident in your abilities and, and um, just have that drive just to keep going and, uh, you know, don't get down, um, just have that faith and um, just, just a steady climb. And I just feel like you put the work in every day, um, you know, it's something, something good can happen. I know you had a lot of free time lately since everybody's been home with coronavirus. I understand you got some skills on the stakes. Is that true? Sure. Nah, yeah, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm on them um, pretty much every day. Madden, 2K, you name it. Uh, me and my brother been going at it, and, and I've been playing online. So, um, yeah. What's yeah, your been, username? So, can you give a username so people can find you? Yeah, I'll give my username out. It's uh, D-E-E-D-O-T-T-11. And I got a PS4, so if anybody – you know, wants to challenge me in Madden or anything, give it a try. What do you like to eat, Devon? What's your favorite? What, what's your favorite dish? Uh, my favorite is crab legs. My grandma introduced me to, you know, that dish, uh, I think, when I, yeah, when I was young. Uh, so that's always been a favorite of mine, and uh, that's my go-to. What's your favorite thing that you can make? Favorite thing I can make? Uh, just recently learned how to – you know, whip up some eggs. I wasn't too familiar with that. <laughs> but uh, this is coronavirus. I learned how to make some eggs. So yeah. that, that's what I was going to, eggs and bacon and, and um, you know, just some breakfast, breakfast foods I've been cooking up. How, how are you staying in shape during all this time off? You can't get in the gym like you used to. Yeah, we, um, my, my dad and my brother, we moved uh, some set, set of weights from mm-hmm. like our, our workout area to the garage. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've been, putting in work down there yeah. um, in the garage every day, uh, whether that's Vertimax, lifting, uh, core work. And then uh, basketball-wise, uh, you know, it's outside in the driveway. My dad has been out there with me and uh, just trying to get, you know, as much reps in as possible to ch- uh, try to stay sharp. I used to always think you're going to hurt yourself in that Vertimax as much as you used to work on it. How big, how big a deal did that make for you on that Vertimax? I mean, you used to really go at that thing. Yeah, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm on it. Every time I come home, uh, it's just something that, you know, to keep your legs, um, you know, right and uh, just extra, have the extra bounce. Uh, I feel like, um, you know, that's a little part of where I got my athleticism from. So, um, yeah, definitely. It's a great machine. Right. Are you uh, concerned about the draft being pushed back? Do you care? I know there's some talk about pushing back to August 1st. Does that matter to you? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, what's next? But um, you know that that doesn't affect. I guess what what uh, what's to come. Um, just taking it, like I said, day by day, and and um, just seeing just seeing what's next, really. So it doesn't affect anything. Your high school teammate Grant Williams was a first round draft pick last year. Boston Celtics. Have you called him for any advice? And what does Grant offer when he when he talks to you? Yeah, we, we actually talked, I think, about last week, just about uh, future, um, you know, references and, and saying, like, what's next in the process and just checking in on each other. You know, that's always been, you know, it's a great person I can talk to and um, go to for some advice. Uh, you know, he has, he has his head on straight, so um, just a, it's a great person I can go to. All right, after you get drafted, notice I said after you get drafted, Say you go to a team there's a guy wearing number one. How much money are you going to pay to get that number one? Uh, at that point, uh, numbers don't matter. Uh, if somebody has it, uh, they, they can have it. I wouldn't I would sweat it too much. It's all good. Look, Devon, appreciate your time, man. Good luck to you. Appreciate it, as right, always. Man, take care.